In a move that would dramatically redefine his relationship with his son and potentially shake the foundations of the British monarchy, King Charles III is reportedly considering stripping Prince Harry of his Duke of Sussex title. This potential decision stems from a series of deeply personal and public conflicts that have tarnished the relationship between Charles and Harry and placed Harry's future as a member of the royal family in a precarious position. Since Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from their royal duties in 2020, they have been vocal about their grievances with the monarchy, speaking out in interviews and documentaries. Among the most controversial moments, Harry and Meghan accused the royal family of turning a blind eye to issues of racism, mental health neglect, and an unyielding dedication to tradition over humanity. These claims shook the monarchy's image and left a stain that, for many supporters of the crown, has yet to fade. For King Charles, these revelations have not only strained his personal bond with Harry, but have also intensified scrutiny over whether Harry should retain his royal title while distancing himself from the family. The title of Duke of Sussex is not merely a name. It links Harry to centuries of tradition. Stripping it away would signal a final departure from the royal life he was born into and underscore Charles's determination to preserve the monarchy's integrity. The debate has already divided public opinion. Some argue Harry has relinquished his right to the title through his actions and accusations, while others believe stripping him of it would be vindictive and publicly humiliating. The process, however, is neither simple nor solely the king's prerogative. Removing a title like Duke of Sussex requires legislative action by Parliament, introducing a political dimension to what, at its core, remains a deeply personal issue. Involving Parliament could bring heightened attention and unwanted scrutiny, thrusting the royal family back into the public arena for what would undoubtedly be a polarizing debate. If the king does proceed, the move would set a powerful precedent, signaling that royal titles are not impervious to scrutiny or to consequences when royal conduct is deemed contrary to the institution's values. However, Critics argue that removing the title may alienate the public further by highlighting the monarchy's internal dysfunction. The potential title removal underscores the complex relationship between Harry and his royal heritage. Despite his efforts to break away, his Duke of Sussex title and the royal identity it represents remain integral to his public image, especially in the United States. Without this formal link to the monarchy, Harry's status and influence would shift considerably. This consideration has fueled debate on whether the title is ultimately a privilege or a burden, especially as Harry and Meghan continue to balance their public identities between royal affiliation and celebrity independence. Meanwhile, media coverage has only served to inflame this conflict further, framing the title debate as a symbol of the monarchy's attempt to balance public image, tradition, and the consequences of internal discord spilling into the public eye. To many, the struggle between King Charles and Harry embodies a larger, ongoing tension within British society, a tension between reverence for tradition and a desire for modern, value-driven authenticity. Supporters of the title's removal argue that preserving the royal family's dignity and protocol demands that Harry's title be stripped, reflecting an institution that upholds respect and discipline above personal discord. On the other hand, Sympathizers with Harry suggest the Duke's actions reflect the need for change and openness within an institution historically averse to acknowledging its flaws. For King Charles, the potential decision marks one of his most pivotal challenges as monarch. By considering the unprecedented removal of a title from his son, he risks deepening a rift that may never heal. Public opinion remains as divided as ever, and the stakes have never been higher with one half of the public urging the monarchy to hold Harry accountable and the other half warning against the irrevocable damage such a move might cause to family ties and the monarchy's legacy. In contemplating this decision, King Charles stands at a crossroads, poised to either solidify his authority or fracture his family further. The outcome, regardless of the decision, will resonate far beyond palace walls impacting not only Harry's identity, but also the monarchy's relevance and resilience in a rapidly evolving society.